Welcome to Schneider Electric's latest facility in Montreal. It's located in the Milex neighborhood, one of the hippest areas of the city, since it has been subject to urban renewal investments. Traditionally an industrial sector for textile and other industries, it is now becoming the home for high-end condos and becoming central to the high-tech industry. The Schneider facility was custom built for the small building systems entity, which now regroups into one team the talented individuals of two companies Schneider acquired a couple years ago, Cantigo and Viconics, making it an excellent center in building automation systems here in Montreal. This particular building was an old textile factory which was completely gutted and modernized into office space. And being experts in building automation systems, we ensured we use our own solutions and technologies in the building. This is what we call drinking our own champagne. The solution has three key aspects, HVAC, lighting and metering, ensuring optimal energy use, but more importantly, ensuring the comfort and optimal work environment for our employees. Come on in, let's go check it out. The office space was designed with large windows favoring natural light and designed as an open layout concept, fostering collaboration and creativity with plenty of conference rooms and a few offices. The office space totals 22,000 square feet with roughly 180 feet by 120 feet, which is about 50 meters by 30 meters. And it consists of three HVAC zones, each served by a rooftop unit or RTU. Each rooftop serves approximately 10 subzones via VAV boxes. What makes this interesting is that each RTU is controlled by an MPM UN controller and communicates via wireless Zigbee mesh to all 10 subzones managed by an MPM VA controller. Furthermore, each subzone is equipped with an SC8000 room controller, which also communicates with the wireless Zigbee mesh. And the SC8000s allow the occupants to adjust their zone temperature set points. To top it all off, we installed various CO2 sensors to feed CO2 levels to each subzone to enable demand-based ventilation to bring in outside fresh air only when required in order to save energy. From a lighting perspective, one of the MPM UN used to manage one of the HVAC zones also handles the lighting schedule for all 20 lighting zones of the floor. It does so via N-Ocean technology by sending a wireless telegram to all of the N-Ocean lighting relays to open and close lights based on a pre-configured schedule. It's interesting to note that with one single MPM, we can handle lighting for the entire floor space spanning approximately 100 feet or 30 meters across multiple subdivisions. More proof that wireless technologies work extremely well for this type of application. We installed LED lighting panels from Lucibel, a Schneider Electric partner, to maximize energy efficiency. We also are controlling these lights through a schedule which is programmed in our MPM UN. For the perimeter lighting, we decided to go a few steps further. A daylight harvesting scheme was added to measure natural light coming through the large windows. Incoming light level is measured via an N-Ocean sensor, and LED panel output is dimmed accordingly. We also allow occupants to use a N-Ocean switch, just like this one, which is a wireless energy harvesting device, which allows you to control light levels in your office space with a simple click of the button. The third component of our solution is power metering. Via power meters and split core CTs, we're able to measure main load, HVAC load, lighting load, and other loads, transfer this information via Modbus RTU back to the MPM UN, and the, the key to the solution here is that the information is then transferred back via wireless Zigbee to our main network. Our MPMs have a built-in web server hosting Building Expert, our web-based BMS interface allowing to monitor and control the building via a simple web browser. For example, Building Expert allows us to change schedules or viewing key metrics via dashboards. Finally, we have to make one important last note. We regularly get asked if our wireless mesh network will get disrupted by our other Wi-Fi networks within the same building? The answer is no. Remember that this is a R&D facility with 70 engineers with high usage of the Wi-Fi network. And the answer is both systems work beautifully together. 
So I hope you've enjoyed this short video about the key aspects of our building automation solution as they were implemented in our brand new Montreal offices.